Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Iris. Today I am going to show you guys how did I create this look on my face. I will temporarily call it my 2017 winter holiday look, uh, which I plan to wear for the Christmas and New Year's Eve maybe. So with this look, I'm going to feature this new palette I recently purchased. So this is the palette I've been waiting for a long, long time. They have been out of stock for a while and I'm just like click the refreshing button every day, just like And finally, it's uh, available again. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. It's beautiful and you know, when, when it's out of stock, you're gonna have to have it. You're like, oh, it's so popular. It's a sign, right? So <laughs> anyways, so this is the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use for this look I created. I haven't used it before, so this will be my first impression for everything, just like you guys. And you guys can see if I like it or not. Okay, so now, as usual, let's do some finger swatch. So this is the palette look like, and let's open it. Magnet token. <laughs> so these are all the colors we have. Alright, so as you can see, we have 12 colors in total, 6 shimmers and 6 mattes, which is pretty even. Left aside, we have, this is the crown, royal highness, your majesty, princess. Let's do four at a time. You guys have to excuse my burning marks with the, the oven or my curly wand. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. This is the crown. And then the Royal Highness. This is Your Majesty. And this is Princess. Okay, so these are the four. I think because my pinky is kind of... not sure if you guys can see my pinky is really tiny and short. So, the princess kind of not very obvious. Let's try one more time. Well, it's a sh matte anyways. So, let's see if it's my pinky. Or maybe it's just my arm is too dark. Anyways, you get it a hint. It's a matte, kind of like a base color. Next, we're going to try Empress. One, two, three. And then Queen Mother, and then Air, and the Royal Prerogative. That's a very <laughs> tongue twister name. So here we go Empress. Okay, so Matt, I think the shimmer is definitely a winner between these two Empress, and then we have Queen Mother. Ooh. This is beautiful. And then we have air. And then we have royal prerogative. I want to say when I use my finger to touch all those colors, I can feel they're kind of pressed very hard inside of the case. All right, next is noble woman, ladyship, duchess. The thorn. Okay, so here we're gonna list this. We have noble woman. Oh, it's beautiful. And then ladyship. Okay, and then duchess. Okay, and then the thorn. Oh, this is beautiful. I never would have think this one would look like this. I thought it was just a normal boring silver shimmer, but actually it has a brown undertone. I would say the shimmer definitely worth the money, definitely. And the matte is kind of a good way. It's very beautiful. I do like it because I think it suits me very well because I don't like when I apply once, it's just like there. I like to do it little by little it's just like blending 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 so this definitely meet my needs and shimmer is shimmer matte is very beautiful <laughs> yeah 
So here's all the colors. The look I created today, I didn't get a chance to use the thorn and royal highness. Yes, I think that's the only two color. No, actually duchess too. Hmm, I didn't use that one either. So that's the only three I didn't hit today. Maybe another day I will use this eyeshadow palette to create another look. So yeah, that's all the swatches for this eyeshadow palette. Now let's moving on to try them on my eyelids. Okay, so now let's rewind from the beginning. Now my face is all prepped up with the basic layer, which is the primer, foundation, concealer, translucent powder, contour, bronzer. Uh, did I miss anything? <laughs> let's see. Oh, eyebrow, yes, of course. That's the thing actually take me the longest time nowadays too. And yeah, contour the nose and highlight, yes, highlight. Blush. Okay, today we only talk about the eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. This is the package. When I receive it from the mail, it has a transparent film on the side of it. So you just tear it off and you know it's new, new, not new. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the outside package and then you just slide off, which is the inside one. The outside one kind of looks Aztec tribal looking to me. Yeah. So anyway, you just slide it off. I don't know how should I deal with this. Let me know. <laughs> I, I don't know how other people do it. So this is the case itself. It looks quite sleek. It's a paper package as well, but um, kind of durable package. It says Queen of Hearts. Very interesting name and it has a very good quality mirror. I don't want to blind you guys, but yeah, you got an idea. And then this is the film. I'm just gonna throw it away and these are all the colors we have. Alright, without further ado, let's uh, zoom in for you guys and focus on the eyes. So the primer I'm gonna use is from Urban Decay. I don't know if people still do the eye primer thing, but I think in order for the eyeshadow palette to perform the best, I will use the primer and also MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. You guys know what's that one. So let's start from the base. I am going to use the air one, this one, to create a base for my eyelids. It's basically just a uh, no color <laughs> for this one. Yeah. And then let's keep going from another shade, which is a little bit darker than this one, which is called a princess. Okay, I can see it. So next one, we're heading to Empress. I'm just promoting myself every step, huh? <laughs> this one, which is the only kind of orange tone color in this palette. I think I kind of like it. Even the matte shades, it's not flying everywhere. All right, here we go. I like this color. I blend it very nicely on my eyelid. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay, so now let's use another brush. And we're gonna try the Ladyship, which is a kind of plum purple one. This one. Okay, I think they get along very well. Okay, I'm just gonna blend and blend and blend. Okay, so now let's go to the Duchess. I'm gonna use another brush. Duchess is kind of matte looking. This one, matte looking, dark purple. So now let's blend it out. I like it. Okay, so next. I'm gonna use Royal Prerogative. Yeah, this one. Don't you just like when you have an eyeshadow palette and all the color just goes well with everyone and you don't really have to say, oh, make sure don't mix this one with that one. Kind of thing. I am definitely going to get darker with this one later. You guys all know, if you watch my channel, I like to do like 
70% first. And then put on my eyeliner and falsies to see where I need more emphasize. Okay, so now let's go with the shimmer. <laughs> That's the uh, most exciting time to me. Which one should I go? I say the noble woman, this one. So I'm just gonna use this little brush because I am trying to just do the half crease. You know, the most uh, popular way to do it. So we're gonna just use a little brush to dip in a little bit. And then spray some Fix Plus. I do like the color, but I think it doesn't jump out. So I'm gonna try the Queen Mother, which is a, a cool tone purple. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to pause the camera for a second to put the makeup on the other eye. And also after that, I'm going to put on the eyeliner and the falsies. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so now this is uh, both eyes. 80% down, <laughs> I want to say that. So I just did the same thing with my left eye. So they kind of look identical now. On top of that, I also put on some eyeliners and uh, a pair of false eyelashes. This one I'm using today, I actually found it in Marshalls, which I go there all the time. Sometimes you will find some surprisingly good quality makeup. <laughs> I'm not sure about the eyeshadow palette. I never have the urge to buy it, but the, the false eyelashes, it's uh, called a My Lash. It's only $2.99, so I was like, let's try it. And it says natural, and it's a 3D Fox Mink Lashes. The main reason for me to try it is because it's uh, mink lashes, which looks pretty natural on me. And then the band is like barely there. It's just so fluffy, it looks like real. Cause sometimes when I put on my Adele, it looks good in the camera, but my husband is like, are you wearing your false eyelashes again? It's, you know, some guys are just like, uh, it's kind of silly, but you know, when you need some extra glam, <laughs> you just wanna, you know, be a little bit more dramatic. Yeah, I really like it. It looks very natural and it's very light weighted. You barely can feel the existence. And yeah, it's very um, fluffy. Okay, so now let's finish the rest of it. As you guys can see, I definitely use some emphasis at the end because you don't want to just one eyeliner just stick out. <laughs> so you kind of want to blend in but still make the existence there. And the one I'm going to emphasize is the, the Duchess. This one is the one I'm going to use. Then blend it out with another one. Yeah, so far I really like this eyeshadow palette. I couldn't find any flaws of it. I like all the colors I used today. It's like only half of it. The palette is so versatile. I feel like I can create a lot of different makeup with this palette. Um, I wouldn't say it's a very daily basis go to work palette because you know it's queen of hearts you need to be a queen not just an office clerk I guess so yeah this is more like a, a festive event palette I want to say when you want some extra glam you just tired of being the plain Jane of yourself then that's the one you want to go to I want to say it's very sultry and also a touch of mysterious. So imagine after the say Christmas dinner with the family and then you're like, hey cousins, let's uh, you know just go out and go to have some fun, have a couple of drinks, you know. Doing young people things, you know, go to the bar crawling or like a New Year Eve, you just want to, you know, if you're single, want to meet some strangers, definitely this palette is very 
attractive. Okay, so I think I'm done with the upper eyelid. And now let's move to the down eyelid. And we're gonna do the same thing to bring it up even again. Okay, let's try the D thorn. <laughs> That's an interesting name. This one. So it's kind of like a gray tone glitter. Because I kind of want some dark ones. And my lower eyelid. But not too dark. Alright, let's do the same thing with the other side. I really like it. This palette is worth every penny. How much is it? I think it's 50. At this point, I don't really care because it just gave me a new version of myself. See how pigment it is on my waterline? I feel like I can go to Morocco now. It's very exotic. Oh, you can do some belly dancing with it. Anyways, um, okay, so one more thing I'm gonna try is to put a little bit yellow at the beginning to brighten up the eyes so you guys can see this one, Your Majesty. I like all the names too. It's just such a fun palette to play around. Not like some palette that they're very practical, but I never have the urge to <laughs> use it. Let me use this. There we go. Okay. Alright, I think it's done when it's done. And I really like the final look. I have to say I really like this palette and it just I think I need it in my collection and I really like the turnout. It's everything I need for this holiday. Yeah. Sorry for the pausing because I hear the camera has this click thing. That means my card is full so I cleared a little space. And now let's proceed again. And this is the one I'm using from Maybelline. It's their matte collection. The number is 695. Divine Wine, that one. It's quite a signature color from them. It has, it's like a dark red wine color. I really like it. Just make sure the edge is covered. Cause sometimes, you know, when you do apply a dark color lipsticks, if you don't do the side and when you talk, it's kind of obvious you have this like borderline between the lipsticks and your true lip color, so. This is good. And I like the color. I think it matches with my whole look today. And I hope you guys agree with me. So I think this is the final look. Well, obviously you can put on some setting spray, but I am not going to wear this makeup for too long today. I think I really like this makeup look turnout. This thing said this is the first time I use a lot of product. Uh, it's totally a first impression for this this iPad eyeshadow palette and also the first time I tried this kind of reddish tone with combined with purple I would say it's pretty successful it's attractive, sultry, romantic, everything you can think of but still you can be on the dinner table with your family without they thinking you're too much <laughs> of a makeup artist or like you watching too much YouTube channel and this is just like too dramatic. No, no, no. I think it's still very acceptable to normal folks. <laughs> At least I hope. I really like it. And definitely a very nice look. Okay, so I think this completes the video. I really like it and if you do like it as well, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.